Hi all and welcome to the 8th Lee Chess Mega A team battle um, on Friday the 7th of May um, and um, I'm WM, I am Natasha Egan. I'm Jim Matthew Sadler. And um, we are commenting, commentating today on the English chess players. Um, we will also look in on some other teams and one team uh, that we have promised to look in on also is um, the Kings Crusher team, uh, as um, which is led by a Trifon Gavriel, who was one of England's very first chess streamers. Uh, so he's got a strong team today. We'll have a look there. Uh, let's see who, first of all, though, who is in the English chess players team. Uh, so, our, yeah, there's, our, a, there's 180 teams, right? So it's it's absolutely there cool are a lot of teams. Yes, actually, let me share my screen. That's let's put that on so you can see the players. Um, and so I'm just showing the the English chess players here, and our top player today is the famous Grand Master Atomrod, who is Keith Arkell. Um, we also have Christy, who is uh, Chris Davison. Uh, we have Wilsonia, Richie A. Uh, these are all players we've commented on many times before, uh, regulars to the English chess player scene. We have Murray Greenwood, Flace yeah. HD. Flace HD, that's uh, uh, Douglas uh, Flacehauer. And uh, yep. he, um, he left a comment uh, because we, we commentated on one of his games and okay. he left a comment uh, saying that he was uh, a bit embarrassed that he'd missed the tactic, but he was happy that we hadn't been nasty about it. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I was... We would not be nasty. We might. I was going to say, it's, laugh, it's so, easy to, not, so easy to make... Just, uh, yeah. <laughs> So easy to make comments like that, you know, uh, when you're watching. We're yes. so hard when you're taking the decisions yourself. So lots of luck, uh, Douglas. Hope uh, ho Douglas. Hope that um, as you've seen from our games, we can we can just as well uh, make mistakes. So uh, we, we're in no position to uh, to to comment on any mistakes. Uh, we've got a mock time. K H Swampy Cameron Westwood. We have Mike Bear. If I'm remembering right, Mike Bear had a game in my last stream. Had a game with. Two queens after about ten moves. Um, okay. Yeah, there was. Uh, so we've got R D E Born Jensen, Gabe two sixty six three Chess Tree who was playing last time and Rod seventy two. So we have fifteen players and it might have even gone up since uh, since then. Okay, if I uh, go back to the team battle, um, and it's a three plus two. Blitz Arena. Well, that's quite a nice, uh, in, in the scale of these things, that's quite a nice uh, leisurely time frame. Yeah, um, three plus two, three plus, I don't like three plus two, I have to say that. So. No. I quite um, like it, but I haven't yet been persuaded to play, so we'll see, we'll see. We'll see we, can always, we can always join, it's... Uh, yes, it's, uh, always join uh, that uh, partway through and uh, get a game or two in there. Um yeah, so 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 it's two hours, one hundred and eighty teams. So it's it's a a huge event. And how many players have we got? Two thousand five hundred players. My in goodness me! What 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 seed of the English uh, team actually? Uh... We are at the moment. Um, let's just see that. We are so Kings Crushers team is twelfth. Mm, uh, we are twenty fourth. Good uh, Lord. Okay. Yeah, 24th out of 180 teams. So it's still one of the top teams. Um, we now have 19 players. So another four players have joined. And uh, Nigel ST there. Nigel Towers. Um, Ocelot. Oh, um, Ocelot there. Well. Greenbecker. Greenbecker as well. Greenbecker. I think we just picked up the four new players. <laughs> that shows how much how much commentating we've been doing that we can easily <laughs> spot the four new players since, since a minute ago. Um yeah okay so this is this is going to be very exciting um, just two minutes actually so uh, and by the way uh, maybe talk about the top seeds because the top seeds are very very strong there's uh, yes. uh sergey uh, Gigalko, who's uh a ooh, i'm not quite sure about this uh his uh his country actually is it is it 
uh, oh, even his flag isn't really. It's Belarus. It's Belarus. That's right. He's uh, a Belarus Grandmaster 2803 rating, um, which is pretty nifty for uh, for Blitz. Um, yeah. He's also he's an incredibly strong bullet player. 3048 is his bullet rating. And I can tell you, I've, uh, what am I? I'm something like 2670 at the moment of bullets. And I can tell you, I think it's humanly impossible to get any higher. So <laughs> 3048 is a hell of a rating. So he's a uh, top seed there. Then we've got uh, GM D. Vritman. I don't know who that is, uh, but Russian uh, GM 2795. Um, we've got Eni Pridmal Nick 2737. Um, and all sorts of IMs 2700. I mean, it's really, really strong this time. Uh, there's even uh, GM Alexandrov, who's from Belarus as well, and uh, um, very strong uh, over the board player. Twenty six, twenty seven oh nine in um, um, in uh, in Blitz. So um, yeah, I mean we've got some really really strong players here. Well, it's a Friday evening, I guess, um, where they are. So so I guess the uh, it might be a sort of nice way to wind down after the week. I was going to say after a week of work, but I imagine actually quite no. a. Lot <laughs> and so, well, so have, yeah, with those, with those sort of ratings, they probably are. Yeah, yeah. I have to say, uh, you've been working all, all week, haven't you? It's uh, Natasha. I have. Yeah, me too. Me too. I'm a little yeah. bit. I'm a little bit out of it. I have to say. <laughs> I normally just collapse on a Friday, um, but but actually, it's a, it's a nice thing to look forward to. To uh, it's not bad, isn't it? Quite. Uh, it's, it's going to be a good event. This and uh, well, I mean, English chess players, twenty four seeds, so uh, mm -hmm. chance of some scalps there. Okay, and now we're starting in 10 seconds. Uh, so let's start off. Shall we start off with Keith? We should start off with Keith, yeah. Let's do that. Oh, I saw, I thought I saw Ali Razor. I don't know if that would. That's no, I think it's a different, a different Ali Razor, that one, I think. Yeah. Ah, we have some new players as well. We now have Checkmate a lot as well. Hey. Uh, Lapple, oh, Mouse Lip. Have all joined? Oh, Mouselip, yes. He's uh, we've seen him lots of times, haven't we? Yeah. They started Natasha, so let's. Um... Okay, let's get to the game. So, Atom Rod, here we go. He's playing uh, against playing Mad another GM. Ham. Mad Ham. Mad Ham. There's yeah. quite a sedate pace. This three plus two. So, uh, Keith, um, oh, I think he's going to be very pretty happy with this very solid uh, opening here. Um, yeah, I mean blacks. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I don't really like this. Oh, they've, they've done oh. it. They've done it. You know, uh, they've done the draw for yeah, because it's the arena. Top... Quick yeah. draw against a strong opponent, and then I think the the plan is to get an easier game next. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. probably not. Uh, oh, it's a it's a reasonable idea. Yeah. Let's. Uh, should we have? Let's have a look at uh, um, checkmate lot. Checkmate lots always. Yes. Good, let's good see value. checkmate a lot. Uh, now I'm gonna actually have a little have a job finding the um, team, aren't I? Twenty fourth, they are twenty fourth, twenty fourth. No, no, Ooh, they, they moves with, like if um here they are. If thirty fifth now, my goodness me. Look, Ocelot's right at the top. Ah, he's just um, won his game. Checkmate lot playing. Checkmate lot. lot. Okay, so. Oh no, no. Oh, checkmate lot's fallen for this tactic. Checkmate a lot. It's a known, it's a known tactic, this. Oh. Being of an accident with his bishop. Yeah, if you go back to move 13, um, yeah. it, it's a, a, do you know, actually, it's even more embarrassing because oh. um, so knight d5, um, in the, there's a book called Invisible Chess Moves, and uh, they gave examples of grandmasters who had missed this tactic. And uh, of course, I was one of them. Is that you? Is that yeah, you? After, I, I mean, I hadn't realised, you know, after ten years or something, oh, you no. see the book, you say, "Oh my God, I could have beaten my twenty-five, fifty opponent in no moves." Because it, it's quite unusual. You don't take back with a knight. You take with a bishop on d five, and then you trap the um, you trap the uh, the bishop with e four. So uh, yeah, no, very uh, very unfortunate Whoa. tactic there. But um, the very easy to miss. Has fallen for this trap, um, but it is a trap. That you're in good company, checkmate. Indeed, you're very good company. Easy I, I, to miss that one. I'm, I miss it as well. I miss it as well. But uh, anyway, it's yeah. better. To, it's better just to say, okay, I'm, um, uh, I'm uh, uh, going to uh, resign that, and then uh, we'll, you know, we'll get on straight away. Yeah, I think that's a good. Uh, it's, plan. it's a good, uh, good tactic. Oh, Atom Rod on there. Uh, see, four points there. Cameron Westwood. Cameron Westwood. I, I haven't seen Cameron Westwood before. I have to say. 
I'm trying to recall. The name's definitely familiar. Um, yeah, uh, but I don't know how often Cameron Westwood has played for this team. But this is um, this is a very good opening anyway for Cameron Westwood. Uh, double Looks pawns. nice for that knight in front of those double pawns, right? Indeed. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, C3 is easy attack with Queen A5, Knight E4, and uh, um, yeah, I mean, just a very a very pleasant position. And you know, normally, as compensation, White would have a pawn on E4, maybe pawns on um, you know on E4 and F3 or something. But um, uh, yeah, with with a pawn on E3, it's a little bit a little bit weak. And yeah, I mean, here uh, you know, Black's giving White the opportunity to play Bishop takes F6, but after GF, um, oh, but this is even nicer actually because we're going Knight E4 now. This is going to be rather tricky. I would like to play this position, I must say. Yeah, no, you're not going to complain if you get this with black. Straight out of the opening. All right, well, I mean, knight takes c3 is uh, is just a very nice idea now. And you're threatening a knight e4 discovered attack. So um, looking very, very good for the English player here. Yeah, because that bishop can't, you know, you might want the bishop to come to like d2 or something to defend, but it's 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 all the way over the other Yeah, side it's in the wrong board. place there. It's completely in the wrong place. And... Uh, so, All right, uh, I'm going to look at, oh, he's taken on c3 and then threatening this discovered attack. Should we just see it till we see get the discovered attack? Oh, it's be some knight d5 oh, check. Oh, no, we can do knight d5 and take that bishop, can't we? Indeedy. Um, it's even a question whether, is that the strongest? Yeah, it probably is the strongest. I was wondering about, yeah, whether you could play for some sort of attack. But knight d5 check just wins a piece and... Uh, should be essentially game over certainly with three plus two i mean you know with uh when you've got shorter time controls and uh yeah. and no increment uh but with increment i mean it's always uh you know oh okay uh, cameron's gone back a different way cameron's gone still back very strong, to... still very strong uh 94 still really nice yeah and rookie eight, eight uh, rook. yeah rookie eight here is going to be uh going to be very good or uh um yeah okay let's check in on another player um Right. Oh, do you want to see so, English chess players? Oh, English chess players, uh, seventh yeah. place there, doing nicely. Yeah, doing well. Let's see Wilsonia. So Wilsonia's uh, white here against Babasik 23. Yeah, so this, this is uh, the first round, basically, where you uh, uh, you play somebody yeah. about the same strength as you. So and this is game, exactly Wilsonia. the same strength rating-wise there. Indeed. Both indeed. 22, 59. We'll, we'll send you to pawn up doing very nicely. Um, so, I mean, the the, uh, uh, the standard thing that you think about would be to push the queen side pawns. Uh, only promise Hi, deep deep blue. who have we got in the chat? We have deep duff blue in the chat. Oh, hello, deep mm -hmm. duff blue. It's um, uh. So we've got, um, yeah, I mean, would like to play B4. Oh, Wilson is spending a lot of time here. He was, had a lovely yeah. time advantage, but, uh, oh, I don't, hmm. yeah, I'm not sure about that one. That's a bit odd. Um, because I was going to say B4 allows knight A4, so you can't really do that. And, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a strange move, that one. I would have thought maybe Bishop A3 would have been quite nice, you know, just pin the knight and uh, and stop Black from yeah. playing the C4 move. But, um Okay. Uh, Do you think we've scared Wilsonia by popping in on the? Uh, I'm sure. I think we maybe have. As a yeah. <laughs> Good lord! It's uh, he's a bit behind on time now. We got the increment, so it's not so bad. But uh, yeah. Um, I would probably say with black, I'd be tempted to play f5 here. Just um, stop anything, anyone from taking anything on e4, and then um, uh, yeah, work out at some stage whether you're going to play knight f2 or. Or but this could actually be quite strong. Oh, e3 would have been maybe quite good as well here. Uh, could have been quite nasty. H5. I mean, I think, yeah, you go rookie one, H4, you go knight F1, and you're completely covered. So um, that's fine. Yeah. That's fine now. This is uh, this is good for white again, I think, now. So I think we is play... Where's um, this going to go, Matthew? Is it going to come around out to E3, do you think? Or try and... Well, H2 is um, is a little bit worrying, but um, I, I oh, would yeah. now... I'd now push... I'd now push C5, C6. I'll not B4. No. Yeah. C5. <laughs> just get that... Get that pawn moving up to c6 causing yeah. problems there that's what yeah. you need to do um because we could maybe queen it in due course well yeah i mean the further it is the more annoying it's going to be you know and uh yeah. and that's very important in blitz certainly with this when there's no time you need to have threats in the position and i think rook d8 is going to be a bit annoying here the queen ooh, uh, bishop f7 might have been rather nasty there but uh this is 
yeah this is kind of this is a bit this is not easy for black to for white to play this is yeah, yeah. pieces or pieces are all wrong here you know it's uh um we're gonna get in f4 now and uh not sure what should we be doing i mean king h1 still maybe well it, it's not it's not supported by anything now you had your rooks yeah. and queen lined up you could have you know got a quick c7 yeah. in but now it's uh that's not uh Bishop c3 was an odd one there because uh, you didn't want to exchange off. So, okay, rook d5 maybe. get Start knocking those pieces away. Oh, yeah, this um, looks quite nice. Rook d5, it? rook d5 now. That, that's, or rook d6, rook d6 also d6 very good. Ah, yeah. Wilsonia. Winning this bishop. And he's ahead on time now. So, this is looking. Uh, yeah, good for Wilsonia. Still, you have well to just. Yeah, rook h4 mate. Rook h4 mate. Yay. Well done, hey. Nice one, Wilsonia. Ignore all of my comments. Hi, Ocelot. How are you doing? Hey, Ocelot. I saw you were, you were number one English player at one point. I don't know whether you still are. Um, doing That looks like you're doing very well. Uh, let's uh, see. RD Bourne is uh, now at the top. RDE Bourne, the excellent. Okay. Uh, on a streak. Let's see RDE Bourne. So we've got a, a Nidorf here where... Um, um, uh, well, some uh, some pawns have been cleared in the centre, but does White have any attack? Well, Sonia board? said, "Was that mate?" Yes, it was. Well, Sonia, you checkmated your opponent. Excellent, well played, well played. We're a bit worried for you at some stage, but uh, that was excellent. Okay, now, so this knocks on freeze, but we've moved it out the way, so that's good. Yeah, it's. Uh, I don't think you've really got the. So sometimes these sacrifices are very dangerous, but I don't think you've really got the uh, the compensation here, unfortunately. Okay, we've sacked a pawn, and we're a little bit down on the clock as well. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. I mean, hmm. Bishop D3. Um, you got a bit of you got a bit of development at least, but uh, Bishop C3, nice. Well, nice C6. Okay. I mean, I, I, I'm not quite sure. I mean, with white, I suppose I'd be tempted to go g4 here and just uh, yeah. try and play g5 and then hg, uh, I'd go h4, you know. And, uh, Would you go crazy on the king side? Yeah, I'd go g5 now. The annoying thing is that white can play knight e5, takes d3 and just uh, sort of, uh, oh, okay. Um, are we going to take on, on uh, h6 and g7? I think we should. Yeah, don't worry about that knight. It's only a knight. It's only a knight. Um, okay, oh, it's quite fun. This Keep one, ignoring it. <laughs> we'll take on G7 played here. I mean, King G7 is just getting mated, so um, but of course, GF is not really that dangerous because the king runs away. So, uh, um, the one thing you are worried about in this position, though, is um, to, to go um, after HG anywhere, like if he yeah. goes B takes A2. Uh, yeah. I think Bishop H7 check is the one that you're worried about. That could be uh. Very, very unpleasant. Good for white, yeah. Uh, queen a5 is a good move. Queen a5. And oh, stopping four. queen h5. Well, we yeah, still got queen but, h. But I would say queen f6 now. Queen f6 should be very strong for white, I think. Queen h3. Uh, but we've got queen g5 check here, which is. Uh, I think queen g5 check was really annoying, to be honest. Okay, yeah. Um, but uh, although although I'm not sure, King B one actually. No, what do you know? Rook G one, Queen H. Oh, oh, Black uh, what? Black resigned. Okay, we'll take all the points we get. And not okay. Quite... Yeah, I mean Rook D F one was maybe, but I mean you can carry on. You can play F five, whatever. You know, you can you can. Yeah. Uh, how strange! Did Black maybe resign? Think he was going to offer a draw or something, and uh, and resign by accident? Oh, I don't know. I'm not That's sure though. You had to click twice to do it. How strange. Yeah. Okay, well, well okay, played. Well, anyway, well done, RDE Born. Uh, right, let's see. Uh, super hot streak there. Huh? Have we seen Greenbecker? Let's uh, see Greenbecker. Green Thanks, Soldier 1390. Okay. Oh, a little bit awkward for Greenbecker there. That, that's uh, 95 is going to be a bit awkward. It's uh, one of those. Oh, okay. That's uh, um, it's one of those exchange uh, Slavs which um, uh, look innocuous but are actually quite, uh, can be quite tricky. So, uh, I guess we what get our bishop out in castle. Yeah, that's what we should do. Um, so uh, yeah, if we have played knight e five, it might have been a bit awkward, but uh, this is this is pretty decent, I think. Mm. Um, do have to watch out because e five is coming in, which is going to be uh, surprisingly awkward. Um, 
Yeah. Ooh, actually, uh, a little bit risky, this. Bishop F6. After Bishop F6, you go E, and uh, you're pinned. And after... Ooh, Knight D5! Ooh. I was going to say you should just castle. <sighs> Knight D5 is rather... Ooh, oh, oh, dear me. Um, this is looking rather... I'm not sure about Knight F6, though. Castle now, right? Just to get yeah, out of now the way. Now you know should castle. Now you should castle here. Um, yeah, I think it's the, it's the only move, only move you've got. Um, I mean, White can play Rook F6, and I guess this is rather. There are a lot of isolated pawns. Every single pawn on the board is isolated. Rook G8. Oh, yeah, I see. Now, okay. Mm. This. Oh, no, Rook takes C8. Check, 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 check. Rook takes C8. Unlucky Green Becker. Okay. That's. Uh, um, okay. okay. Well, we've uh, jinxed again. <laughs> of course. Okay, let's see. Uh, right, English chess players. Here we go. So um, it's quite what I when you've got control of when you've got con the controls, Natasha. I just sit here right? and uh, and wait whilst you click around and. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, Ricky Shear. Um, is white. E5. So queen takes E5. We'll probably go, go bishop takes H6. I think it was probably a decent deal for black, to be honest. I mean, uh, the E pawn for the H pawn. Um, I don't think that would have been uh, that would have been a bad choice at all. But uh, okay, knight H7. Um, bolster up our E pawn. Yeah, I go F4. I think really. Um, that's probably quite sensible. Yeah. That rook on e2 is a little bit annoying. I mean, it's blocking the queen coming, you know, naturally over to g4. Queen d2. White is determined to trade his, that e pawn for the h pawn. Yeah. Um, not convinced, really, you know, because uh, um, that that is a quite a lovely center. Um, oh, this is quite nice. You can go f4 with tempo now. Oh, maybe yeah. follow up even with f5. That would be quite good. Very good, Ricky. And I might get my other rook in as well, like rook f1. Rook f1. Although you've got to watch out, got to watch out a little bit for b4 and then uh, something. But uh, no, you're, you're covering that, so that should be all right. Uh, you, you takes h6, you know. And, um, oh, it's eight, yeah. Um, still on d1, actually, I think I would. Uh, coming around to e3. Ooh, okay. Bishop a4. Take it. Indeed. Um, all be, it's all been a, it's all been a little bit weird. This uh, not quite how I'd uh, do it. But knight b five to d six. I'm not sure about knight b five to d six because um, uh, your knight was very very good on d four. It was very solid. Yeah. And uh, on d six, so like that, back to d four. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Let's waste a bit of time. Oh ho! Oh -ho! <laughs> Good now Lord. it's all happening. Wowzies. I would get, would you no, we could there's a choice between like taking that or going F five. Yeah, well rook a one even. I mean rook a one just to uh, to bring the rook round. Um you know it's uh, that would also be pretty powerful. F five is also quite decent. Um I mean I suppose Black was thinking of going F uh, G F and then oh, Rook C eight. Oh no, no, not F six. <laughs> I mean, it's fine, it's fine, but but there was no yeah. Ah, maybe it's just maybe it's just very strong. I mean, this knight on d4 is a monster. So you, you just bring the, uh, um, uh, yeah. I mean, you can do a number of things. You could go queen e3 and then bring the rook round to a1, for example. That would be very uh, sensible. Um, uh, just just to, to put pressure on the black position. Yeah. Uh, rook, rook a1. The only thing you've got to remember is get your king out of uh, um, out of the pin so that um, yeah. oh, rook c1. <coughs> I would just say King H1 followed by Rook A1 would be very strong. You've got to watch out now because Black's going to play uh, Knight G6 and get. Uh, normally, yeah. you'd want to move this with H4. That's the move you'd want to play, just to. Uh, um, but White's getting a bit short of time, a bit nervous. I think. Um, maybe I'm maybe I'm I'm jinxing him. I would get my king out. Yeah. But uh, yeah, certainly one would play rookie one and then king h1. You're still you actually know, well. We there. should comment on actually, no. uh, which I hadn't noticed till now, is that white is playing someone 500 rating. Points yeah, and of course, yeah, I think he's got a bit nervous and, and there, doing and, very uh, well. Yeah, doing very well, but got a bit nervous. Yeah, but now it's yeah. uh, I think it's all uh, yeah, I think he's just uh, it's you know, just uh, panicking there with the uh, with the time. 
Hard luck, Ricky. Ricky Sheer okay. played really well up till then. Yeah, nice. But we'll head back now. Okay, to here. Uh, let's see. Um, oh, Agat Marta's got a team there. Yes, well, as well. well. And they're in fifth. Uh, we as English chess players are and in... checkmate a lot. Uh, after that first yeah. uh, a little blunder at the, the start, checkmate a lot. It's on a streak. Look at that. Yes. 13. Yes, doing very well. Um, let's let's check Woodpusher. Oh, okay. Uh, good. Who is, has berserked and is also on a streak. Good stuff, um, Woodpusher. That's what we like. A bit of berserking. Yeah. And so, so Woodpusher goes down to one and a half minutes without increment. Um and uh he is playing quite a solid opening um which i think right. is the normal type of opening that would push a place we're going to see he's going to oh take on d4 wow trying to mix <laughs> it up a little bit bishop g2 that was an absolutely in... instant move from would push yeah that's right uh, that was uh, uh oh no bishop b4 no 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 wood pusher wood pusher careful you can't do anything. Oh, wood pusher. Oh, no. He's. Oh, dear me. Dear me. Dear me. Dear me. Oh, wood pusher. Oh, my God. We're, 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 we're not. That was. We're not. I, 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 I would admit that probably was a jinxing. Okay. Oh, Let's me. see Nigel. Nigel Towers uh, is playing white here. Look at Nigel's <laughs> rating. Nigel's rating has gone up enormously since. Uh, since Nigel's been playing down. a lot of chess. He has uh, been playing a lot of chess. We have seen Nigel play. I mean, Ooh. he must be playing many He's... times a week. Uh, wait a minute, is knight takes c5, knight d takes c5? No, I don't think so. I think rook takes d8 is still uh, knight takes f3, queen f3. I yeah, know, that's fine. That's fine. I thought, have, have we jinxed uh, Nigel now? And uh, But uh, rook d4 is fine. So um, knight h6. Yeah, it's a, a little edge for, for white. g4 is possible, but maybe... It does feel a little bit a little bit on the loose side. Rook yeah. one is very sensible. Yeah, I think I would do this. And did you I I just learned a term if you put all the three major pieces on the one file. Did you know the term for that? Alakin's gun. Alakin's gun, I didn't know. Well, that. But, but uh, that's with the queen behind, right? So it's okay. a rook, rook queen. Yeah. So we can't get Alakin's gun here. If you put your queen in, if you put your queen in front, that's Russian roulette. Oh, is that right? Is that actually? No, right? no, 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 no. That's not, it's not a you proper term. It, it feels like uh, you know, <laughs> putting your queen at the at the head would not be. Uh, oh, g six. That's not very. Uh, now, now I think g four is very tempting. Yeah. Uh, knight e four also very good. Um, I just want to. Six. Yeah, I mean the knight comes to f five, but I think you know we just go back to d two here, and yeah. uh, and then the question is, is that knight on f five? Oh, good lord, Nigel, no. <laughs> Even That's better. Right. Well right, done, isn't he? Nigel. Yes. He's right. Sorry. Good lord. He is right. Nigel has found a lovely tactic. Indeed. Because if the queen, queen takes that, we've got knight f6 picking up the queen. Of course, Very the thing nice. is, it's, it's it's the whole house now because whatever happens, you're picking, you're going to pick up. Yay! We didn't jinx Nigel. Okay, well so we didn't done, jinx Nigel. you, and we caught the moment on camera. We caught the moment of glory. Well done. Okay. Let's see who else. Who haven't we seen? We haven't seen Chris Davison. Should we have a look? Oh, at that's Chris? a good one. Let's have a look. Oh, that doesn't actually look like the times don't look right for that. No, that something's gone a bit wrong there. In that tournament. Um, let's see. Uh, I guess he's not playing that right now. Maybe um, he's playing a different tournament. Uh, it's possible. Different tournament at the same time. Charlotte Ooh, Freud, good. Smooth as a Hedgehog's joined. Smooth uh, as a Hedgehog. 2691. That's, that's Andy Horton, isn't it? Is that Andy Horton? Oh, yeah. right, very nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, but he's not got a game going right now, so I'm okay. going to check in on. I think I had KH Swampy lined up. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, sorry, unfortunately. Uh, ah, but that's still very good. It is very good. This is all very good for KH Swampy. Are we going to check on G3 to get out of the way? Well, no. I mean, we could just go Queen D6. Oh, <laughs> that is maybe even better, I suppose. Um, GF, um, yeah, I mean, you just go queen d6, I think, uh, and uh, and just claim the two bishops for uh, for uh, uh, the rooks, and you're uh, you're doing well. Um, I don't know whether there's something even better. I mean, bishop b3 check was a vague a vague uh, possibility, but uh, 
Um, I, oh, yeah. this is. This looks good, doesn't it? Moving the this queen. Is, uh, the this is very good. No, this is very, very good. Because then we can like double up. Yeah, you should really have gone to probably should get have gone a Russian G2. roulette. You should, gone, you should have gone to G two rather than G one because uh, then you would have been. A, this wouldn't have been possible. Yeah. It's very. Yeah. Yeah. This is a, this is super strong. This is just winning for Kate Swampy. We're gonna win a win a piece. Yeah, uh, eight, uh, yeah. not necessarily. Yeah, rookie yeah, rook eight. Rookie eight is cool. Rookie eight. We're trying yeah. rook D six. Queen G two, we can take on E six now. Yeah. And then Queen E three. And then we've got the fork. Queen E three. Well, look at two. Queen can come back in the way for the rook. We can go F four afterwards. Bishop D five. Just looks nice, doesn't it? Oh, and we're a piece up. Okay. Very good. All right. Let's. I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep keep moving on, and I think Kh yep. will win that one. Um. Okay. Uh, let's English do one more piece. Lot still, still careering away there. Look at that. Checkmate a lot. Uh, let's give checkmate a lot. Yeah, let's give her. He's, he's, he's doing great yep, after yep, that let's... early lot. He's uh, he's going great guns at the moment. He's he's uh, oh he's uh, let's have a look. Uh, the rook ooh. moves three pawns up. Yeah, but he's berserk. This is a little bit of a tough one to win with thirty seconds left. This is a tough one. Okay. So, yes. Uh, uh, a four. That's Berks that's against good. Mercury. That's good. That's good. Rookie four. Yeah, it's going to still tough. Tough to win this one. Um, rook H four. Oh, check. That's very good. Okay, that's that's good. You've got all those pawns at least. Uh, cut him off, and now you push H four. Now this has got yeah, much yeah, more possible. Yeah, yeah. This have to do it. H seven. Uh, rook H four. Rook H four. Now. Ah, this is yeah. looking very good. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna make this I one. Think I think he's gonna he's gonna actually win it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is Queen C four. Okay, Even Queen B six. Brilliant. And Queen yeah, another yeah. pawn, you can do. Oh, okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, that's easy, easy, easy. Excellent. Well done, checkmate. Well lot. Brilliant. played, checkmate a lot. This is great. Now, this right, and, and, and doing all this working really, uh, it really pays so much. Atom rods uh, on ten. Uh, Let's Schadenfreude look at Gut. Schadenfreude Gut, who is um, Phil Crocker, who was one of the people doing the stream the other day. Um, all right. President of Chester Chess Club. We played a simul there, there, didn't we? In game we at all. did Chester. exactly do a simul there, yes. Um, I'm afraid you've sort of... <laughs> but we're doing Schadenfreude. Schadenfreude yeah, Queen, B, Queen B4 allows Bishop D6, unfortunately. So uh, that's a little bit annoying. Oh, so we have to drop the Queen back, I guess. Well, uh, yeah, we oh. could, could have played maybe Queen A6, and then if Queen takes Knight, then B5. That might have been the way, but Schadenfreude has given away the... Uh, um, were well, you I mean, remember this... in one of our previous commentaries, Schadenfreude had a queen on priest for several moves? <laughs> <laughs> it's still counterplay here. Queen b5 yeah. is a nasty move. It's looking quite, it's all right, isn't it? Um, well, yeah. You, you although got, we would uh, rather have a rook. But that a rook, rook, but, nice. Yeah, but it's not, uh, not easy. a4, a4, a3, a2. There's a very simple plan here. And uh, um, you've got to watch out. If the bishop leaves d1, you'll have a knight e2 and then uh, some sort of discovered attack on the rook on f1. So, ah, uh, this is this is pretty, it's a bit annoying. And the uh, time situation is looking decent as well. So, uh, I think if, if the wife had been clever, he would have gone bishop d6 and then a4 could have been met by c6, you know, and just uh, discover an attack on the bishop. But now it's a bit late. A a3, a3. No yeah. thinking, no thinking, Phil. Just mm -hmm. a3. And let let White decide where he's going to put his where on earth he's going to put his queen. Oh, brilliant! Uh, queen C four, uh, C four. I'd like to play Queen C four. It's just uh, you know no 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 worries about it at all. Just uh, um, this is also uh, Bishop B two, Queen A four quickly. Queen A four, A four. Yeah. Come on, or Queen C six actually is uh, also quite decent. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Okay, Bishop B now. And okay, got the exchange back. A2. The only thing is, um, it's a bit of a shame. In a way, it's a shame exchanging off that bishop because, uh, you know, your, your bishop on f5 is a long way from doing anything useful for you. Um, yeah. But okay, queen a5 now is a good one. Queen a5 is a good one. How do, we, do we worry about getting that bishop back in play? It seems a bit what? hard to do. Yeah. Um, I suppose. G6, oh, this is a little bit annoying that he'll go c6 now. Oh no, it should be one. Queen but B3, yeah. Queen C1, even better. Oh, nice. A, B, and Queen, A, B, and Queen, Schadenfreude. Nice go, go, <laughs> Schadenfreude. This is going to be very painful. We're going to have uh, Queen G1, check Knight D3 is the best way to do it. Or, well, Queen C2 would also be uh, any of the queens anywhere. Any of the queens anywhere. Left. 
Oh, Queen D1. What was Queen D1 about there? Knight takes C6. Don't worry about it. Um, Queen C2. Just line up on F2. Line up on F2, Phil. That's good. Mm -hmm. Keep on playing. Keep on playing the time. Uh, okay, Queen C2. So White's playing for time there, but obviously he's, yeah. he's completely, completely and utterly not. Queen takes F2. Oh, G5 is fine. Just H5, you know, just uh, F6. No worries. Yeah. You've got to play some moves and gain your two second increment. That's the yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that's the uh, the point. F six is fine. King G five, Queen E two. All of those moves are all good. Queen F one is a good move here. Oop. Oh yeah, yeah. Also good. Come on, Phil. Just uh, easy, easy does it. F E F E King F five. Yeah, yeah. This will be enough. It should be enough. Just keep on. It needs to make some keep easy. Moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Can make some easy quick moves. King f5. You know, king f5, king e6, king f, king d5, king. You know, just instantly. You can just do it. Uh, you know, you don't need to. Um, doesn't need to be complicated. Um, king e6, king d5. You know, just bring the king into uh, into f1. You know, easy. But uh, this is very good. Uh, h4 is coming in now. Excellent. Yeah, and h3 is going to be. Yeah. Oh, it should be three. Okay. <laughs> Not quite. Oh, okay. That's fair enough. You're gonna... Takes. Takes. Yeah. Well done, Schadenfreude. Well done, Schadenfreude. Excellent. All righty. We were going to check in again on the uh, individual, by the way. Uh, um, it looks Let's like, see. oh, good Lord. FM Arnold for the Arab team. Yes. It's, it's miles ahead. 35. Yeah, and has played a lot of games. I think FM Arnold must be. Um, Berserking all the way. Indeed. Good Lord. I think you're right. Okay. Yeah. Because uh, Sergei uh, Gigalco is playing as well, playing Avenger on top board there. But uh, let's have a look. So who's... Um, uh, Keith. Keith. Let's have a look at Keith. Oh, well, Keith's got a nice square on E5. So uh, that should be uh, should be quite friendly. Knight E5. Yeah, that's, that's always nice to get a knight like that on um, on e5. Just block out any kingside yeah. attack. And it can't um, be kicked away. F4 now. You're probably hoping for knight e4 here, so you can just take that off and have. Oh, that's nice. Knight f7 would be a bit more annoying for uh, for white, you know, because you swap off the knight. Uh, it can be a bit hard to make something. But now this is uh, you've just got this lovely. Uh, I'm sure Keith is going to try and exchange off queen somewhere. Um. Indeed. <laughs> Look at that. It was, I was wondering when uh, he, Yeah. Lovely. So Rook F oh no. Ooh. Uh, I don't know. Rook F2. I'd I'd like to sort of yeah. That's nice. Just to keep the uh, there's no you know, there's no point. G four now would be very nice. There's no point in giving uh, any counterplay away, you know, just uh it's just so beautiful with a knight on E5. Better because that knight so nice, I guess. Yeah, King G3 is very good. F5 is also very strong. Oh, I think the Keith's probably going to go G5, isn't he? Just open up some lines and also... Uh, um, okay, that's quite... I like the way both players have basically more time than they started with. <laughs> Indeed. So uh, taking with a B pawn. <coughs> yeah, I mean, uh, you're going to go Rook G2 and Rook B2. Yeah, lovely. Classic. Well done, Keith. And that Rook on F6 is, is sort of way out of it, so... You, you, you just don't have any any play at all on the uh, um, on the B file. So um, I think yeah, I mean here you could just uh, um, you can just go uh, uh, and take some B four and King F four is quite tempting now. Yeah, um, that really is very tempting. Uh, A three, how would you go A three? Oh, that's how I understand. He's wanted to take on B two G F. He's got Rook B eight, which is rather unpleasant. Okay, yeah. Uh, it's, that's, quite, that's a clever idea, rook b8. Because king f8 I've got, and here I can take on f5 take now. On five, doesn't, yeah. doesn't really matter. Yeah, king g7 nice. will go. King f4, I guess. Lovely. And this is a very difficult position for black. Yeah. I've, uh, yeah. Still playing absolutely instantly. Amazing, uh, isn't it? Uh, I would have gone king g5 yes. there, but this is uh, rook b7 is obviously also very strong. King h6. Um, okay. 
So um, I think we'll just go rook c7, I think. Um, a4 is also possible, but rook a7 or rook c7, I think. And you wait, just wait for h4, because then you'll have knight g4 uh, check and uh, rook h7 mate. Uh, Bla oh, black's completely, completely tied down. Knight g4 check now, knight g4, king h5, rook h7 mate. Oh, gosh, that's nice. Very nice. That was what Keith was Nicely played by Keith, actually. Yeah, very smooth. Doing fast very smooth. And, uh, and just very get checked. Yeah, excellent. There. Excellent, excellent play. That's how you get, that's how you make lots of points in Blitz, just playing this yeah. way. Very good. Yeah. Okay. And uh, uh, where where yeah. are we for English chess players? We're in 14th place. We're doing well. We're doing well because, I mean, we're let's, way let's above our Let's have a quick on King's Crusher, shall we? Yeah, let's have King's, a look. Crusher's, let's... King's Crusher's up there as well. Oh, let's have a look um, at King Crusher. Come on, let's have a look at no, King Crusher. No, I'm less familiar with all the players. Let's look at King Crusher himself. Um, yeah, he's playing at the moment. So King's Crusher is Trifon Gavriel. Lovely guy. Uh, who is better known, actually, as King's Crusher. So let's Indeed. just call him King's Indeed. Crusher. He's got a huge uh, um, website, YouTube channel, um, yeah. member site. And uh, he's also one of the um, one of the, the first people who really got into uh, the Lila Zero chess engine and started following it from... Uh, from uh, from yes. right from the beginning, um, I think he's, he's a, a big Lila fan, isn't he? And he's done yeah, loads he's doing, of doing a bit less on uh, on chess engines nowadays, doing more uh, sort of tactics puzzles and everything. But uh, um, I mean, you should uh, the number of videos that Trifon has done is uh, is uh, absolutely staggering. It's uh, an enormous site and uh, very nice, and he's a super nice guy as well. So oh, he's uh, really nice. and actually he was helping me with this uh, setting all this stuff up um, for the ECF as well. So oh, really? Ah. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's, uh, yeah, I mean, we um, we did a video together with him. It's on our YouTube channel. Yes. Um, and uh, I mean, he also gave us uh, lots of good tips about, uh, you know, what to do with our YouTube channel, tools to use and stuff like that. You know, I mean, he's, uh, he's just a, a very, very nice, friendly, uh, friendly guy and, uh, and got some great content. So do take a look at his uh, at his YouTube channel. Really the other thing is he, play, he can play Blitz very, very fast. He's a good Blitz uh, player. He's a good Blitz player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, if you watch when he um, if if he gets into like these end games with with no increment and he can do with this stuff you know the same stuff that Moonmaker can do with the king oh, and just yeah. just, uh, just keep going for move after move without using any time at all. Um, so this is actually uh, um, it was a little bit uh, maybe a little bit I'm not sure hairy is the right word but it was a uh, you know the, the knight on e4 was uh, was not very solid but now this is uh, actually quite nice for white I have to say. I mean, black's got a nice configuration, but um, uh, now let's have a look. EF, that's uh, his King's Crusher. He's going for some tactics here. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now Rook wait, but can't one. you take on? Can't black take on? Oh no, this is a, take on. Well, this, yeah, this is this is this is not bad at all, actually. I mean, very tricky this because rookie. You just take back if if Bishop C two, we'll go rookie six. And I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. But it's. Uh, um, I have to say, it's quite scary. So rook f6. So we can go uh, queen d4 or something. Can we go? Hey. Queen d4, queen e5. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Let's have a look. Um, queen d4. The only thing about it is that this bishop on c2, for example, is covering h7. So it's sort of uh, black's actually got some uh, uh, surprisingly good coverage on the uh, on his kingside squares. But bishop g7. Now we go rookie eight check simply, and rook f eight we just take. I think we're seeing a we're seeing a classic oh, uh, a masterpiece here. from King's Oh, Crusher. we're not we <laughs> haven't kings the uh, trifon. Fantastic. I mean, queen e eight's the only move. It's the only move I think uh, because rook f eight I take bishop f eight. I suppose bishop f eight you could try. No rook f eight king g seven queen e seven. This is just over. I bet on, <laughs> I bet on this channel. Trifon is going absolutely bananas. He's going to be yeah. so happy yeah, with yeah. this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Queen E8 is the only move. Um, and to be honest, I mean, Trifon, yeah, he's, he's good with, when he's short of time. So uh, I wouldn't have thought you were going to be beating him from now. Uh, mm. So Rook F8 check, King G7, Queen E7, Queen E7, end of game. Come on, Trifon. Knight E6 check, also end of game. Very, very strong. He's got two huge moves now. Queen E7 and Knight E6 check. Come on, Trifon. 
He's probably he's probably having a little chat to his crowd at the moment. Yeah, Rook F7 <laughs> check also wins. Before he plays wins. the killing blow. <laughs> Rook F7 check also wins, but less convincingly because uh, obviously you just get. Uh, um, I mean, there must be. Are there? Is there anything else? No, I think those are Queen E7 or uh, or uh, Knight E6 check. Queen E7 is, uh, I think, is the very best move. Well done, Trifon. Look at well that. Twenty-five eighty-eight uh, rated opponent and FM. Gosh. And good old yeah. King's Crusher. He's done it. Well done. Well nice done. Nice game, oh, King's Crusher. Well done. All right. Well, let's see how the English chess players are getting on. Uh, King's Crusher's team doing very nicely. Where's. Oh, yes. it, we were. We, have I missed it? We were about. There we, we are. About, there we are. There we are. 13. 13. 13. I was going to say, we, we can't have dropped that much. Um, right. Richie A, we haven't seen yet. Richie oh. A. Now we're just we've just seen oh. King's Crusher. We're going to see Richie A against King's Crusher now. Oh dear! So and now we're, we're switching sides and King's cheering Crusher for hot off, a. Uh, hot off a great win, of course. So uh, <laughs> uh, Richie, uh, who is Richie? I don't actually know Richie. I think I don't know. Um, so I try clicking. If I do, you want to click on him and just see? Yeah, I'll, I'll have a quick look at uh, at Richie. Yeah, let me just. Uh, uh, I'm looking way away. I'm looking on my different screen, so don't. Uh, if it looks a bit funny, then don't worry. Uh, English chess players, Richie, um, a Bradford Chess Club. He's a member of Shropshire, uh, but I don't know who he is. Member since 2016, played 17,000 bullet games. My goodness, wow. and uh, uh, fewer uh, only one thousand blitz games. So he's a he's mainly okay, a, bullet so guy, yeah. a bullet fan. Yeah, I have to say I'm I'm mainly a bullet fan as well. I've uh, I mm. play uh, I don't play very much, but uh, I have these uh, sort of normally half hour sessions after work, and uh, and I do I do like uh, playing bullet rather than uh... King's Crush is. Uh, you could almost say this is a uh, an example of a classic. Uh, Two bishops against two knights because um, yeah. there's, there's this uh, um, uh, what is it? Is it English Steinitz from eighteen something? With a very very it's a very similar thing actually, where uh, you know um, White's got um, this pawn structure and the two bishops pointing towards the queen side, and the knights just don't have any outposts. So I mean, queen d two would be very uh, uh, very thematic here, and uh, you know, rook d eight, a five, a four, double up on the d file, you know, and uh, no hope for White at all. Um, you could keep the queens on, but yeah, you sort of feel that uh, um, that it's not really uh, not really necessary. If I was white, I think I would want to keep the queens on. Yeah, I mean uh, a five could also be very strong actually because you're going to get in a four, a three very quickly, and mm. um, that could also be oh, not queen t seven trifle. Mm. What did you want uh, to say, queens? I, I wanted just a five actually. I think a five yeah. was really strong because I mean, if you go queen d eight, I go rook d eight, I get the d file, and then that knight's going to yeah. have to move from b from b three. So I think I would have been very strong. But I mean, this is this is yeah, this is very good as well. I mean, uh, not uh, I'm uh, um, rook d eight now is very pleasant. Probably uh, probably well, I don't know which one rook rook a rook f probably rook f. Bishop C4 also decent. So what should White try and should White try and get some king side? I don't know what White, White White's got nothing he can do really. It's it, yeah. the, his knights have got no 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 squares whatsoever. I mean, the, somehow you've got to, you've just got to wait for your opportunity to um, uh, to do something. If you you know, I mean, B3 C4 to try and get a try and you know, but then but then you know the light squares get terribly weak. It's, it's just very hard to give White any advice really. Um, it's uh you just uh you know but it's blitz so you know i mean uh, yeah. the only thing you can do is not blunder anything um yeah. i probably end up playing h3 king h2 just for the sheer hell of it uh i guess the king's probably going to be safe-ish like that um and uh yeah i mean you just play around and try and uh um just try and uh uh keep what keep black at bay somehow it's very very difficult um i mean here could you consider Maybe I'd try and get my knight round to f2. Maybe go queen c2, knight d3 to f2. Because f2 feels like a decent square. Hmm. H4, I'm not sure. Oh. I would it's have been not... tempted with playing h4. but It's just it's just not really going to benefit you. That's the problem. I mean, yeah. it, it, it's only going to be black who's going to enjoy, enjoy this yeah. h file. Um, and we're going to go rook d8, first of all, then king g7, g6. Maybe get in g4. Oh. 
it's a toughie. It's yeah. a, but, but I mean, you know, this is really, uh, you know, for why there is no, there, is, there are no good solutions here. All you can do is is just play on the, the old blitz, really. You know, uh, I think the only thing you, can, you should just try and play quick. Yeah, I think, you know, White did have an opportunity to get that knight on C1 round to F2. You know, I could have gone mm. queen C2, knight D3. I think that would have been uh, um, a, a hope anyway, you know. But uh, now it's, again, very difficult because that knight on E2 has got no no scope. Um, I'm going to switch think, games, actually. We'll come yeah. back to this one, um, hopefully shortly uh let's just have a, another look um so if we look at... nicely um i want to go right down let's have a look at the bottom smooth well, i was going to see if smooth as a hedgehog's playing no if just played one game them. and then uh how about Henny Henny? Henny. right Henny Penny playing uh, a stronger player um, slightly stronger player. Well, this is quite a fun one. Uh, five pawns for the piece, but uh, um, actually, is this horse mates? Uh, no, not quite. Oh. Uh, <laughs> it, it's not quite. You've got to go to G1 now, H1 rather, because uh, G1, I've got bishop H2 check, followed by knight G3. Yeah. Um, I mean, I could still go knight G3 and then um, uh, rook B2, which is, looks quite unpleasant, I have to say. At the very least, you've got quite a few pawns are dropping. Um, maybe knight g3 and rook f8 is probably even stronger. Um, let's have a look. Is this something I hadn't I couldn't see that this was mating anyhow? Knight f2. Um, we can go. Uh, oh, sorry, the d1 is hanging. Uh, my my yes. mistake. Uh, that is going to be very unpleasant, I'm afraid. Yeah, because we can't. Uh, rook e1, we've got knight h3 check, and that's going to be mate. Yeah. yeah, so we're going to have to leave that there, I think. Can we? Ah, no, no, yeah, this is uh, now knight h3 check. Oh, very nice, actually. Uh, King f1, uh, rook f2, and mate. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. I'm lucky, can you, can you? Okay. Do you want to check back in and see how that other one we just left is going? That was Richie A, wasn't it? Um, I think he must have. Oh no, no, he's still playing. Still playing. Okay. All right. Let's see how that one's developing. Um, okay. Well, I mean, uh, for, for, from the time point of view, he's done quite well there. You know, that's. Uh, yeah. But this is quite nasty. Rook h6 is coming in now. Uh, that knight can't really move, can it? And and yeah, so. Uh, a, rook comes around. Yeah, the black's uh, white's paralysed there, unfortunately. So, uh, mm. I think it's. Uh, okay. All right. Okay. You're a goner there. Let's see then. Um, let's see. Uh, let's have a look. Have we seen mouse slip? We haven't seen mouse slip yet. I don't we? think we've seen mouse slip today. Oh, oh a mouse slip's not playing right this second. What about a mock time? We haven't a seen a mock time. We haven't seen a mock time yet. Uh, you just seem to have an extra queen. For a piece and pawn. I think that was a mouse slip, possibly. Was that a mouse slip? It looks like queen c3, knight takes c3 happened. So, uh, and uh, he's playing against somebody uh, 200 points stronger than him. So, uh, okay. This, this so, it's nice. time when you start getting a little bit nervous. Um, indeed, indeed. The, the important thing is, you know, just develop your pieces. I mean, yeah. um, uh, and uh, if they offer, if somebody offers you a swap, you swap. Yeah, you know, it's just uh, it's actually not too not too bad, you know. It's uh, but um, and the important thing, I think, um, uh, you know, just uh, at the start of the process, don't spend all your time now. Just uh, yeah. develop your pieces and play reasonably fast, and then at some stage, you know, you'll get a little a little opportunity, and then it's just a question of uh, having the time then to spend there. You know, the worst thing you can do is to is to get yourself down to twenty seconds, you know, and then you know, yeah. uh, and then get nervous. You know, that's. Uh, um yeah this is very sensible for example you're threatening knight d7 here so that's very nice you know knight yeah, d7 exactly. now straight away knight d7 yeah. swap off the piece and uh uh and you know you're laughing and uh and so, so depressing for um for the white player as well so excellent a good play there yeah and black has declined a draw so white off the draw and black declined good all right so 
And we have a resignation. And what Excellent. time has one? Uh, well played. Okay, let's see. Uh, right. We and in there in this chat, right? like some, oh, Atom Rod has moved to the top. So, uh, okay. Check must, uh, we got, we got Yay. Yeah. Uh, so, another one of these, um, we saw something quite similar before, uh, actually, in the game that Keith uh, drew quickly, uh, the first one, but um, uh, um, one of these uh, sort of Bogo Indians. It's a little edge for white here, you know, you've got a bit more space, but um, that, that exchange of the dark squared bishops, you know, for black, it sort of yeah. uh, freezes position a little bit. Um, now, you, here you've got to take back with the e pawn, I believe. Um, or, yeah, I mean, I don't know whether it's possible, but if you can, you must, because CD bishop b5 is extremely annoying. Uh, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. ED, it's, a, it's an important move, and yeah, yeah, white played that. So, um, yeah. and now for black, yeah, I mean, bishop f5 will probably go knight e4. Um, b5 will probably be met by c5, which is probably quite good. So, you're going to need to, to prepare that a little bit. You could move the knight out of the way and then just um you could play knight g4 and uh just prepare f5 e4 and if you go h3 i go knight h6 and i'm maybe hoping to get him through f5 into d4 yeah that's possible but d4 uh, is nice isn't it if you can get your knight to there that's really yeah nice. but it's um it's i mean i you know i do think white's you know white white is uh you know a, a bit better here but um but as long as you've got this uh, c5 uh, meeting this bishop c5 with bishop b5 resource then uh then you're not getting, uh, you know, you're not going to get overrun on the uh, B5. That's a little... Ah, so Patrick has gone for B5, which was a plan a little, that you mentioned a just a second ago, risky, although yeah. it needed more preparation, didn't it? Well, I'm a bit worried about this, because uh, D takes C5, we go D6, and then Queen takes, we take the Rook, and after Rook A8, Knight C5, you're, um, you're actually pinned on A6. So it, it's all a little bit... It's a little bit worrying that. I, I, yeah, I don't think it was necessary to do this uh, at all. Mm. Of course, playing b5, you don't have this bishop b5 move for your bishop anymore. So, I um, mean, you can throw in a bishop g4, or you know, there's all sorts of stuff you can do. Yeah. But, but I, I sort of think you could have, you really, it would have been better to prepare this. Problem is, bishop g4 will go queen e3 and just, um, just defend uh, the pawn on c5. So, oh, that's, okay. uh, I would have just thrown in d6 there. But I mean, maybe actually it's even stronger. Knight c5, I can just go d6, and a8 is hanging. So, that's no, probably even stronger, actually. Ooh, this is nasty. This is very nasty. I'm not quite sure what you do here. E4, maybe? I think it's E4 isn't threatening anything because um, you're, you're, you're pinned. So I could just throw in C6, probably. Yeah. Yeah. C6. Or, D6, um, or maybe Those pawns are a bit scary, aren't they? The C and D. Yeah, I mean, D6 followed by Knight E4 looks very strong, to be honest. And probably Knight E4 is quite strong as well. Well, the we knight take, five uh, here. Take on, oh, but then we have to watch out. We can't. I was thinking take and then take on c5, but we can't do that because then there's a bishop h7 and picking up our queen. That would be possible. Yeah, we could also take with the queen on e4. Yeah. I, I mean, I, knight d5 is, is is what I would do. And uh, oof, Lord knows uh, whether it's any good or not. But uh, I mean, I feel it's what you have to, you have to do. This here, yeah. queen e4 simply. I mean, you're just, uh, you, you're just, you're just, you're just two enormous. Connected past pawns, uh, up they basically. are pretty big. I uh, maybe queen f6 and try and go bishop f5 or something, but it doesn't change. Yeah. Pawn I mean, still being you've got knight takes c5 as an idea after queen f6, so that is probably that. Oh, no, yeah, that, that would have been a tricky, that would have been a tricky one, but I think his mass slips a bit short on time now, so uh, it's a yeah. real tough this one. Well, it's hard to defend this kind of thing. <coughs> All right, we'll, we'll leave, we'll leave mouse slip. Uh, we've jinxed we've jinxed him enough there. safety jinx mouse <laughs> um okay and let's see um do you want to check in on should we check in on keith again yeah he's, he's um he was on 10 points for a while i think he must have taken a little break and now he's uh he's back he's in the system he again here back. nice and nice and solid against the dutch exchange off the dark squared bishops and I mean, Black, Black really should um, uh, test spending a lot of time, Black is actually, isn't he? But um, you'd expect a D6 here from Black, really, followed by E5. That would be decent. Yeah. Uh, B6 and Bishop B7 is also uh, is also decent. But he's spending all this time. Yeah. 
strong player as well. Um, now, I'm wondering he, in, th this has to look at somebody who's who's dis no, no, that's disconnected. It's just uh, mm. okay. So I mean, uh, Bishop D3, I think is is oh Bishop C4 from Keith. That's possible. Yeah, yeah. And then you're going to just go castles, maybe Queen E2 or Rook E1, and just uh, so castles, King side, I guess. Where's he going to go? Yeah. Okay, so black's going e5, so he's not going to be able to castle kingside here. Interesting. Now I would have thought that Keith would just take on e5, and uh, if d, e, then we'll go e4. Yeah. That would seem uh, natural. So I guess black's going to play f4, yeah. Okay. But now, I don't know, bishop d5? h3? Okay, but... I'm a little oh, bishop h3. I'm not sure. I'm a bit worried about about g5 happening as a sack, you know, and uh, and you've already gone. Um, you've just given yourself a bit of a weakness there. I would. I, I quite like bishop d5 or something, or or maybe c3 or something. I don't know. But uh, he's flinging the pawns forward in a kind of yeah. unlike Keith manner. I would say. Yeah. No. It's it's, it's a bit. Uh, yeah. I just thought I would have to Keith go. You know, bishop d5, knight c4, line up on the e5 pawn, and. Uh, it's a, a bit random. Oh, H6. Oh, mm. so I'm, uh, I'm, uh, this is my after work feeling. I'm a bit, you know, <laughs> a bit tired. And, uh, but uh, oh, G5, throw it forward, <laughs> you know, who cares? That's somebody H6. else's pawns you're throwing forward there. <laughs> exactly. I, I'll have to play some a little bit at some time, I think. Uh, oh, you should. Yes, yes. I'll, I'll play uh, a little bit later. I'll play, uh, I'll play a few yeah. games. But um, it's... Uh, I wasn't expecting that. Queen a3. It looks pretty good, though, doesn't it? Because you're well, then um, yeah. threatening on a7 as well. I guess king b8 from black here. Or, uh, yeah, knight c6 is, would be what you'd normally want to play. But um, uh, you'd probably take on e7 and take on e5 then. Um, of course you so... would. I think this queen a3 manoeuvre is to try and swap queens, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, of course it is. Of course it's even with a... Okay, well, he's happy. Knight takes e5. He's got it. He's got what he wanted. Yeah, I guess bishop e8, um, who's better and why is probably just equal this one. I think black's, yeah, I think black missed a trick there because Keith, Keith, um, Keith played a bit dodgily, I think. But um, but this is, um, this is uh, yeah, not, not such a, a big problem. And Keith's got loads more time. I mean, that is really uh, uh, very nice. The thing is that bishop on e6 is a little, actually be a bit careful because... Uh, Oh, is that why? That, that might be why Keith played h4 to give his bishop a spot on h3 there. I think. Mm -hmm. But actually, this is a bit. This is a bit awkward for Keith. There's a big square on e3 for the black knight, and um, and black's got black's obviously got the d file as well. I would, yeah. I mean, b6, c5, c4 is a little bit worrying. Um, oh. Now I wonder, could you maybe take that knight off? Take it, yeah, get rid of that bishop. Okay. Yeah, the question is, is that bishop going to be strong or is it just going to end up uh, being a complete spectator? At the moment, I'm, I'm sort of feeling yeah. complete spectator, really, because, I mean, I think black goes knight c4, he goes c6, king c7. I, mean, I suppose you can go try knight c5 to e6, though. That might be... Uh, maybe that's making clever use of that... Uh, Possible knight c5. Yeah, knight c5 looks good, doesn't it? I think you have to do this. Oh, king f2 feels a bit risky, yeah, because now you go b g3. Ooh, okay. Bold play from Keith there. Yeah, hadn't expected that, but maybe it's yeah. Maybe it it's... does make that bishop better though. Yeah, it makes that bishop better, and you're going to get in there uh, because now you can go. You can go bishop f5 and uh, and block this one, I think. Knight d4, maybe even better. Big fight here, and uh, Mikita biceps is really short of time. I think there's going to be a... a you, you, you feel that there's going to be a blunder of a, of a piece here yeah. coming up soon from, yeah, from yeah. Black. It's too short of time here. King yeah. g3. I think you just go rook, rook e1 now. Uh, it's a nice move. Just uh, defend e4, threaten uh, e4. Uh, this is probably... Uh, King f4 maybe is is that quite nice just to go? Oh, I think knight c4 check might have been quite uh, rook c3 check rather might have been a bit annoying there. But um, okay, but uh, this is uh, 
Is Keith going to take that off? Rook d3, maybe? Rook e1. Rook e1's nicer. Yeah, and e5. E6. Okay. Well, this e pawn's now looking pretty good. Yeah, e7. Now nah, it's, it's gone. This is completely gone for black. We're going to bishop g6. Uh, e8, queen. Yeah. No need. No need. Excellent. Right. Well played, well Keith. Played, Keith. We saw Keith win. We didn't jinx you. We are so happy, Keith. Well played. <laughs> so, uh, English chess teams just uh, keeping just outside that top 10. But, uh, I'm going to check in again on um, King's Crusher and see right. who's who. Let's look at future is. Yeah, oh no, they're not 27 and 29. Minus Shredded Fighter's doing great. 18 Let's look at Shredded Fighter. We've also got Lance as well. Lance, who uh, lovely guy, organized uh, a team battle. Yes, I was going to check Lance, but Lance wasn't playing right now. Ah, right. So Shredded Fighter punching well above his weight, playing 24-28 now. Uh, this yes. is looking a bit awkward, though. Uh, knight E4 is looks, looking like a... Oh, uh, E4 is also quite nasty. I think Knight E4... Who can't go stronger. Knight D4? No, Knight yeah. E4. Knight E4 would have been even yeah. stronger, I think. But uh, yeah, uh, I think... Oh, good Lord. Oh, we can't do that. Oh, we We're can. Just going to take and go Knight takes D4. That's probably very, very strong, yeah. All these, all these white pieces are really on nasty squares there. Uh, so how do you defend this? Not easy. Um, see four check. Oh, um, but the the one thing uh, actually you've got to watch out for is that uh, black has berserked. Yes, yes. So black has to actually get to checkmate within the time. Yeah. Um, oh, hmm, grabbing pawns. I'm not sure about that. Knight f4. Hmm, knight h3 check. We're going to grab a few more now. Oops. Uh, oh, f2 is going as well. F2's on as well. Um, but uh, okay, bishop e5. Now this is good. This is uh, this is good uh, for white because uh, it, it's all about you know just survive. Uh, no. Don't give anything more away. You know that's the uh, the idea. No, nah. knight d1. Oh, bishop a2. Oh, rook Ooh, b2. That's, that's, that's getting a little bit. Yeah. Oh, resigned. Ah. That's it. Resigned. That's very sweet. That's, uh, you could carry on. And let's see who's top of the whole tournament at the moment. It's the Polish Q uh, K Poi. Who just check in on this game as well from the okay, Polish yep. cucumbers. I think Future is Meow, who's the top um, player for King's Crushers team. Funnily enough. Ah, okay, fine. Uh, a Russian player. I don't know who. Uh, I don't know who he is, but uh, let me have a look. Maybe I can. Uh... Tom, Tom, Tom. Uh, where's the tournament? There we are. Future is meow. Who is future is meow? Russian player. Not that many games actually, but uh, twenty-eight fifty bullet rating. Whew. Gosh, he, he is strong. <laughs> yeah, I can tell you that's. Yeah. Or he's both strong and fast. Put it that way. Yeah, well, they're both 2700, these suppose 2738 against 2729. Let's have a look. Do we know who KPIO is, GM? No. I mean, that 91 might mean oh, they're Kasper, going. It's, Ka it's Kasper Puren. Uh, Kasper Puren. He's, uh, he's 2600 uh, uh, over the board. So, okay. uh, have you ever played him? No, never played him. Never played him. He's also a problem solver, I think, as well. Okay. So here, um, I quite like Black's position here, uh, just because the um, uh, the White King side feels a little bit vulnerable, you know, with the Queen on B seven. Um, it's sort of thing, sort of position where uh, if you're not careful, it, it might just go, it might just go horribly wrong for White. Uh, I feel. So uh, and you know this bishop, you've got this queen and bishop lined up on g7, but yeah. actually I think you, you you'll have a knight g4 and this bishop g7 and f6. You know, it's uh, so I don't know. I, I'm uh, I think white's uh, black's got a slight advantage here. Really? Yeah, because when you when I first look at it, I, I I thought it was fine for white. Yeah, this is a this is a typical blitzy thing. Uh, Going to take back. You have got this a pawn, queen b1. Uh, yeah, but this is not good. Uh, I don't think. Knight f1. Ooh, okay. This a a5 pawn's quite weak now as well. But uh, not a bad defense, this. I mean, um, at least you're putting some pressure on c5. 
I, I'd sort of think of taking on D1 and going Rook A8, maybe, mm. and target the A pawn or Rook C8, and then just try and uh, push a C pawn because we'll get it. We, we can get it to C3 protected. You know that feel, that's an odd move. What's that one about? Oh. That's a very strange move. Um, okay, isn't Queen E2 hitting two pawns now, actually? Uh, H5 oh, yes, and it is. Five. The B pawn and the H pawn. Okay, uh, not done. Um, but this is decent. I mean, uh, we'll, we'll have the, we'll, we've got the A pawn protected and supported by an A pawn now. So, yeah, I think, I think White's, um, White's doing okay now. Um, they don't have to play ridiculously fast, do they, for three points? No, 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 no. I mean, I think, uh, you know, a game like this is likely to end up, I think, in a draw simply because, uh, you know, the, the, there's not that much randomness really with... Um, uh, actually, oh, wait a minute, is F5 a, a decent move here? Which one? E5. F5, F5. F5. I'm vaguely tempted, but maybe maybe we're going Queen B6, actually. Maybe that's... Is that the idea about that? I go Rook C6. I'm not sure. I'm tempted by f5 just to get a bishop onto f6. I'm definitely tempted. Um, I mean, actually, probably queen a8 is not bad either, to be honest, attacking e4. Um, sort of f5, whilst the queen's, while the white queen is on that, uh, ooh, c3. Can that, can't be, that can't be good. We can't because of bishop f6, I suppose. Uh, I, well, uh, ooh, uh, then we Nice c three bishop f six. I'm wondering. I've either got queen b five or queen b six. Um, uh, I queen can't believe. Doesn't then they just go queen takes queen, right? Yeah, I've got knight takes attacking the rook on c seven. Uh, okay. Uh, but I mean, what we can do there, you can just move your queen away, and there's a pin on a one. But I'm wondering about queen b six actually. Queen b six might be. I think queen b six is possible. That's my uh... <laughs> so knight c three bishop f six queen b six. Because if you take take rook c3, then I, I go, yeah, th okay, so he hasn't taken even. Um, interesting. I'm wondering mm. now, queen c4 looks quite strong, I think. a6, I go c2. You're very so fast. You should have taken the pawn first. I think, I, I, think, I think you had to try it. I'm, I'm sure you... I mean, I might be wrong, but I'm, I'm sure you... Uh, um, nah, I'm sure it was working. Has the right feel to it anyway. Mm. Um, queen c4, I think, is quite um quite unpleasant. Black's spending a lot of time here. Am I missing something? Queen c4, a6, c2. Uh, that looks. Black is queen c4, rook c1. Yeah, you just go c2 again, and uh, mm. I'm not sure. This look, this feels like it's going to be a draw now uh, because uh, rook a7. Oh, rook okay. a7. No, we would have taken it and gone c. We, well, we got on C2 straight away, I think. Uh, okay. This is just a draw. Oh, you're absolutely right. Okay. Hmm. Good adventure, though, then. English chess players are doing. So. Uh, there we go. So, let's check in. I was going to see if Ocelot was playing. Uh Ocelot is playing. Let's yeah, see. let's have a look at Ocelot, since he's on our chat. Yes. Quite a nice position for black here. Uh, just got to watch out for that queen h7 mate. So, yeah, I'd probably go g6, I think. Uh, don't really want to give up the two bishops for that. Oh, no! Ocelot, you jinxed his mate in two. <laughs> Ocelot. That wasn't the plan at all. Sorry, Ocelot. Oh, Ocelot. <laughs> all right. Well, let's see who else there is to jinx. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to join, actually. I'm going to gonna see. Oh, ah, yes. Okay. Uh, if you uh, join, we will follow you. I'll, I'll let you know once I've, uh, once I've started. Yeah, go get your chat when you've got a game. Um, all right. Nat Paul we haven't seen yet. And Nat Paul's not got a game at the moment. Murray Greenwood. So Murray Greenwood is white here, and um, that advanced rook looks quite nice. Oh, there we are. I've got a game. You've got a game. Okay. 
So we'll, we'll, we'll go and follow you. Oh, Berserk. Sorry, Berserk, Matthew. There we are. Berserk. Let's. Uh, oh, no, not now, the one thing uh, actually is, um, uh, I'm, I, uh, well, my PC crashed last week, so I've got a, a PC with a few heat issues. <laughs> so I'm just hoping it doesn't overheat <laughs> whilst I'm it playing. It will if you start berserking. Right. So, GMNDS is white in this game and has just played queen b3 yeah i'm uh, this is quite pleasant already i've got queen b7 i've also got uh, obviously some uh, threats against f7 as well um not bishop f4 is quite a nice idea Obviously, just something like uh, okay, I'll go bishop f4 just because that feels right. Threatening knight c7, and I've also got um, I mean, I can do a little castle queen side, so I could also do a knight c7. Hi, blue gray haze, fire on the board, literally. If your PC is overheating, Matthew, indeed. Um, I'm just wondering, um, hmm, <laughs> that didn't turn out very well. Curses. <laughs> Queen e3. Um, I'm not doing this very impressively at all. You've got one minute left to deliver checkmate. Indeed. I mean, it should be fine. But... Uh... Yeah, I mean, Black's going to... I suppose Black's going to go king side. Yeah, I'm going to cast. I haven't done this at all. Well, I had an overwhelming position, to be honest, but uh, somehow I, uh, I certainly didn't make the most of my chances. <laughs> so, what's the game plan? Out and out attack. Well, yeah. I mean, I've got compensation for uh, for my uh, for my sacrifice pawn. I mean, that is uh, absolutely true. I'm threatening. Uh, ooh. Knight H five something. Yeah, okay. you do have more pieces lined up at the king. I'll go rook F five. Is that a good idea? Threatening F seven. Can't be a bad idea, you would have thought. So what's he gonna do? Block with his knight. And then you can go knight d five, so that's all right. Mm. Oh, we need one. Wow. Thank goodness it's not checkers, so I don't actually have to take that. Yes. You can next take on um, E8 if you want. Well, I'm looking for... Oh, okay, I'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> and then on E1 as well. You've got it all. I've got the whole thing. Um, I'm not even going to bother trying to find mates. <laughs> Would be a good exercise, really, but uh, I think that's why, yeah, because in shogi, it's always very important to mate very accurately because, uh, you know, you've got... Yes, uh, you might not opponent, get another chance. <laughs> the opponent's got pieces he can put on, you know, and uh, so, but with chess, it's, uh, mm -hmm. and I'm sure, uh, you know, I'm sure that has a bad effect on your uh, shogi, this... Uh, so, uh, ah, well, a little bit of berserking, that's, uh, that's good. I'm not playing very well at all. Whew, feel, uh, all right. Don't feel particularly... Well, oh, well done, got a black game. Are you playing again? I'm playing again, yeah. Well, let me find it. I'm just going to take a second. Let's get onto your game. Uh uh, yeah. You don't have to follow my game. I mean, you can. Uh, We're following your game. Um, so I'm just going to remind everyone: please do um, 
follow the channel. So it's a Twitch tv slash ecf underscore oh Andrew. god i forgot to berserk curses ah uh, well you've still got to play it fast you see i was playing instantly actually the thing <laughs> <laughs> suddenly realized and just to remind everyone also about the ecf uh 24 hour marathon in aid of the British Red Cross uh, that is happening on the 5th and 6th of June uh, 5 p.m. on Saturday to 5 p.m. on Sunday uh, please do sign up and play it would be lovely to see you um, and we're going to be doing some commentary uh, on that event as well on this site and we'll be berserking non-stop and we'll be berserking yep yep for sure all right. Lottie Kazan, you're playing now. I think I'll probably. Uh, okay, well, it should be for them. Hi, Ocelot. Thank you. Sorry, Ocelot. We were we hoping to see a lovely game victory from you. <laughs> Well, we feared we jinxed you. Oh, dear. So what's going on in this game, Matthew? Well, I'm a bit worse, but not so terrible. He should take on f6 and go queen c4, really, and then I take on c3. He goes b takes c3. Well, I can win the pawn back with rook d6. That's... Uh... Yeah. Ah, and you can get into a uh, an end game. Indeed. And pawns. Keith will be wishing he could play in this game. Indeed. I'm still a bit worse, I think, uh, but uh, it's not so bad. Um, all right, I'll go e3. You don't terrible. feel like you're worse to me. Oh. Actually, uh, this is quite interesting. Uh, rookie eight. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, I mean, I'm pulling down, right? I mean, that's uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was kind of assuming you'd win it back. <laughs> no, I've, uh, I've, 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 I've gone for my um, I've gone for my wedge there. Um, yes. Um, I'm going to come around here just to, uh, I quite fancy sort of uh, getting this h3 move in and uh, making yeah. his king a bit static. And uh, I mean, I can I can try b5 at some stage. I, I'm, I'm going to play c6 at some stage you know, and just uh, try and uh, um, try and do We're this. We're going to go for rook h6. Yeah, that's going to come in. I'm not quite sure about the other one. Um, all right, that's quite good. I'll go queen g5. Rook f2. Oh, oh a trick, because you can't take it directly. Uh, all right, well, I'll go rook f8 then. Rook h6. Yeah, I've sort of abandoned my... <laughs> This all looks nice though, with all these coming in on the king side. Uh, yeah, it's just not easy to uh, to make much progress, I fear. But uh, yeah. I mean, I'm playing ridiculously fast here. I mean, uh, it's incredible. Um... This is not normally how I play. Normally, I play sort of slower and uh, mm. um, oh you can take on and you can't take on d5 that wouldn't be good hmm. this is that's quite nice though um now you do you could in theory take on d5 i can go rook c7 i was thinking i had rook b1 there Mm. Rook G5. 
56. Um, I've got a lot of extra time, but not a really good position. Um, this is so annoying. <laughs> I uh, I just like to be berserking bes here. I'm sort of losing my uh, kind of yeah. losing my crest. I have to say. Um, Come on, Matthew. Uh, let's get ourselves, pull yourself together. Rook here. Queen there. Um, queen d seven, maybe. D five. Okay, I'll go rook b six. King h two. I'll go. Uh, queen e queen d eight, queen d five, rook d six. All right, well, I better get my king out yeah. of that. I was going to say that h five, king h six. That was what I was looking at too. Queen G2, mate. Oh, uh, nice. that was awful. That was awful. I, I should really berserk if I'm going to do anything. It's. Uh, I'll play one more and then uh, we'll see. Well, let's see how the team's doing as well. Uh, 16th place. There we are. Berserking. You and, berserked. Oh, Prince Jess has berserked as well. So we've got a double berserk here. Okay. Let's see the double berserk. Let's find you. Here we go. Prince Jess. Uh, I wonder if they saw your rating before berserk, double berserking. Yeah, I wonder actually. Ooh, interesting. Uh, takes. Playing faster than me though. <laughs> yeah. Unbelievably fast. <laughs> what if they take on B? Oh, yeah. Um, oh, I'll take that anyway. Um, oh, I'll go there. There. Go there. Your king's been all over the board. It certainly has. But it's it's starting to feel a bit better now. Incredibly fast. Your opponent is really fast. You're absolutely right. He's incredibly fast. Yeah, no, it's true. Uh, here we are. Uh, lots of threats on uh, G7. Got a threat on A8 now. Yeah. Which is going to be fatal. Executed. But that was, uh, I don't know. I mean, God. <laughs> I, think well I, think I'm, I think I'm lagging slightly, actually, with my uh, game. Yeah. actually slightly lagging. But um, uh, uh, one more and then we'll uh, call it. I think uh, let's uh, do that. Just uh, how are we doing with English players? Is that helping at all? Not really, is it? I think you haven't quite made it for the 
score us, if you see what I mean. I, we're not going to get into the top 10, are we? It looks like uh, a number of teams are really ah, just... And Smooth as a Hedgehog is playing now as well. So that's nice. Ah, excellent. Well, maybe we'll get... Uh, yeah, in a moment. Have a, a, a nice run of uh, pawns at the end. Point, pawns, points. Points, yes. Um, oh, good Lord. Okay, I'll take that. This is sort of known somehow. Uh, bishop on b4. It feels like an alakines, but around the other side of the board. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those. Uh, um, like both the knights on the king's side rather than the queen's side. <clears throat> it was actually a gambit, this, but um, but somehow uh, White well, didn't didn't end up taking the gambit. So. Uh, mm. I like it though. It's worked out very well. Five. Um, yeah, that's going to be one thing. It's got knight d4 always, which is a bit um, mm. annoying. But um, uh, I might go c5 first and then. Whoa, 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 look at this. Oh, oh, oh. This oh. king is asking for trouble, I'd have to say. Good lord. So King B2. King B2, I'm sort of expecting. Uh, I mean, it's got to be, right? Yeah. Otherwise, you're taking on A3. Ooh. Oh, OK, it's defended. <laughs> now, this is going quite wrong. If Queen E3, I've got C3, actually, which is quite nice. Queen takes wowsies. All right. You can take that. Oh, your opponent left the game. Oh, dear. <laughs> All right. oh. oh, that's annoying. Yeah, a little bit weird. Claim victory. That's what you do. All right, I will pause now. Yeah. And we can have a look at some, uh, right. some other people. Let's see. Um, so we have... Where's English Jesper? There they are. 17th at the moment. Um, and I was going to just see... If we a lot. Running away with it. Smooth as a hedgehog thing. Oh, oh, no. no. Mike, there, no. Necroscope. Let's see Necroscope. Oh, Leon. Oh, I think it's 23, 28, but Leon um, berserked. So, uh, okay. um, actually, this is, um, he's just, um, he's got a perfectly decent ending there. So, yeah. Come on, Necroscope. This is looking fine isn't it We've just got well, to be a little bit yeah rookie six now rookie six is important now he's got to play that if you go okay. rookie six you are great excellent we're done we're done necroscope yeah rook g6 now probably was is the simplest oh rook g4 okay well you're not gonna you're not gonna win this a4 a4 is a good move just to fix it Black you might not win. Oh, oh. Play the, play the very good ball. well done necroscope okay excellent and let's see. Uh, yeah. The chess plays in 17th. Well, we, we can uh, make a few places. Schadenfreude good. Should we see Schadenfreude, how he's doing now? Yeah. Um, we jinxed him horrible. We jinxed him. Almost streak. We jinxed him. No, he didn't jinx him. He, he won last time. So, uh, so that's... Uh, he won, didn't he? Yes, I think. And what's this? Oh, that's very hey. knight c6 and b6. That's a very weird. Oh, he's somebody's berserked against him as well. So, uh, well, this is a horrible play from black. Uh, knight d4 <laughs> knight is very four, I was looking, yeah. would be very, would be very uh, pleasant. Um, yeah. Uh, d takes c6 and, and knight d4 is also very good as well. It's basically how you want to win a pawn. Yeah. Knight d4. Let's see if he does win a pawn. Yeah, I don't really know what black can do here. I, I would just, yeah, c6 is more or less the only thing, but we're just going to take on c6 a few times and uh, claim we're a pawn up. Oh, yeah, yeah. And probably also the exchange as well. We can do it like this as well, can't we? 
Yeah, I mean, we're going to we're trying to take on f5, so now you just take on c6. This is just yeah. uh, this is very pleasant. I, I guess mm -hmm. after bishop c6, black should play bishop d7 and sack the exchange, I think. Let's let's assume Schadenfreude can do the yeah. business. Thing. He's going to win this. Okay. All right. Who do we have? Seventeenth place. Um, who haven't we seen? Seb NS. We didn't see yet. Uh, is playing black. All righty, knight a4, that's a bit of a friendly move, I think. Not quite sure where we go. Probably back to, yeah, a5 or, or d8 was uh, quite decent. Might we only b5. Well, b5, yeah, if you're, being, if you're feeling uh, frisky, then, uh, then b5 <laughs> is the move. Um, I wonder if it takes, takes... Yeah, I mean, knight b2, queen a2. Hmm. I mean, knight c3 is also possible, but <clears throat> I guess we go queen, yeah, queen e1. Takes, takes. Oh, queen e2, queen e2. Oh, queen e2. Good e2. lord. Well done, oh, seven S. <laughs> well, there we are. Good. Well done, seven S. We certainly yeah. didn't jinx you there. Come on, England. <laughs> Come on, England. Okay. In, where are we? We're in, we're in 16th, 16th. Up to 16th. Place. We've, and, uh, gone up we've, place. Got, we've got a choice for some, uh, we've got a chance for uh, for, uh, for a bit of a higher placing. So, uh, yes. Chess tree. Did we see chess tree yet today? I don't think. Not yet, I think. Let's see. Chess tree has a time advantage. Uh, uh, yeah, and also a queen advantage. <laughs> And this is going to be a queen advantage with C1. <laughs> so I think we're talking about uh, a significant number of advantages there. Yes. <laughs> Bishop F5 check. Oh, yes. <laughs> Very Thank good. You. Well done, uh, Chestry. Okay. Does that put us up to 15th, I wonder? Uh, 16th now we, we're sort of in, we need to we need a, a little bit of an extra run because uh yeah i mean we're we, we're sort of 11 uh, 11 20 points behind the uh, the people in front of us but uh david wilson has joined we looked at oh, also before. this is david wilson um who is black in this game against oliver can a bit of an open king um so yeah david's uh sacrificing a pawn yeah well that's i think maybe you could have taken on c3 and just tucked yourself away on a8 might have been possible so i guess queen a3 here from uh, from white yeah queen a4 now would you take that b pawn or do you think that's that might be exposing your king I'm to a bit worried. Ooh, pardon me i'm a bit worried about rook d1 afterwards uh yeah. the way that it happened actually i'm a bit but i'm a bit worried about rook d1 anyway yeah, but I think no rook d one. Rook d eight to oh, it doesn't stop it there. Ooh, actually, this is it's actually quite it's actually appalling. This um, <laughs> yeah, no, I mean rook d one to d seven. Tell, us, tell us if you like it. <laughs> it's a huge threat. Yeah, um, so rook yeah rook d one now would be a very nice uh, would be a good move. Threatening rook d seven, so I'm not quite. I don't know what you, how are you going to protect this rook. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, it's got it's gone sort of uh, sort of gone a bit wrong there. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, that's a bit passive. That's that's a bit passive. B one. So we were going to gain some some hope from that. Uh, we've got our rook. Oh, can take that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But I mean, black's uh, consolidated. So uh, and you know, white's a couple of hundred points higher. So uh, black's a couple of hundred points higher. You know, uh, rating. Yeah. So, uh, um, you just need to keep uh, keep on moving and put the pressure on. Swap off. Okay, well, rook C3, rook C3, rook C3 would have been possible. Oh, though. rook C3, yes, next. Well, there was maybe rook E5. That was maybe what, what Black was worried about. But rook C3 is still a threat. Now, so. Yeah. Um, still oh, a well, threat. We can do it. Rook C3. Oh. Right? oh. Ah. 
Rook C3 would have been, uh, yeah, I mean, just dead equal. Uh, this is a bit yeah. annoying again because the rooks on b4 is a bit out of place. Mm. White's got a very simple plan of playing. I think Black just saw the saw it now and is 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 trying it again. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, rook c1 would be very sensible here. Um, then bring the king across and play. Uh, you know, just try and play the rook to around to d2. That's uh, oh, it's very oh. safe. Well, okay, Black can go a5 here. I mean, it's not uh, yeah. and a4. Yeah. Uh, Black's Black's doing all rightish now again. Good, good chance for Gerard, I would think. Yeah, well, with the time as well, you know, anything can can happen in these things. So, uh, ooh, good lord, White's going through there. Yeah. Um. Ah, so would you take it? I've got to work out a bit. There's a few. There's a few. There's a few awkward threats. Uh, oh, yeah. I was thinking about King A6. Uh, careful now. Rook D6 is absolutely necessary. <laughs> okay, GF now. Hmm, hmm, that's not very good, actually. Um, You're right. That Rook on B4 looks... Yeah, but we can go A4. I mean, if GF, we can go A4. Um, I, if, you know, if I take, take, take on G7. Okay, uh, we can go Rook G3 now. That's probably... We're probably hmm. I'm wondering whether a4 would have been better rather than taking on g3 because i think rook g3 mm -hmm. you're holding that pawn on b3 then you know and uh i think i think that's quite that's reasonably promising for black because all those pawns are uh are split um king f2 now and you just hold it together nicely mm. it's a nasty ending there um but you know a lot more time for Black's forward. king is a little bit Closer into the action. Yeah, I think Black's um, King is nice active there. So uh, let me go f5. Yeah. He didn't hit a win for White with best play. Uh, ooh, I'm not sure. Well, I would have thought so, to be honest. Yeah, I do mm. think so. Um, but uh, um, not easy to do with little time. I'm wondering whether Black should have gone King d4, actually. But okay, King g4. He's staying close to his pawns. That's not bad. I've uh, got to be careful now. Uh, H3 check is very nasty now. Followed by King F3. That's not good news. Mm. Oh, oh, we had Rook D5 to B5, actually. That was uh, winning on the spot. Still winning oh. on the spot. Rook D5 to B5. Oh. Rook B5 wins now. Yeah. Completely. Oh, yeah, there's no no doubt. Oh, dear me. That's amazing. You, were, you pinpointed that Rook not being well placed many, many moves ago, and that was sort of a deciding factor in the end. Unlucky David Wilson. Yeah, sorry, we first game and we jinxed you straight away. We do that. You gotta watch out. <laughs> yeah, I mean if you're an English player, you've got to watch, you've got to, you know, fear for what don't uh... don't look when 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 we come in as a spectator on your game. Uh don't think well, anything. Of still, it. Uh, still at the top there, seven S doing well. It's uh, uh... Oh, should we look at Checkmate a lot? Oh yeah, let's have a look. Because I haven't looked at Checkmate a lot for ages, and he's been uh, been right at the top for for a long time. Come on, Checkmate a lot. <laughs> Fingers crossed that we don't uh, that we don't uh... <laughs> don't cause a Checkmate in the wrong direction. Well, actually, um, uh, Knight H four is quite tempting here. I mean, Bishop A seven check. I go King H eight and. Uh... This threat of knight f3 check is quite dangerous. But maybe knight h4. Uh, I suppose you could go knight h knight f h2 all the time. Don't know. I think maybe we're uh we may be overdoing it a bit. Uh so we're kind of the exchange up, aren't we? Um, exchanging the pawn up, yeah. Exchanging the pawn. Some, some sort of nebulous pressure against the white uh king side, but not really anything uh concrete. That is quite a dangerous move. Yeah, what? Because of Bishop G six. Well, then you go H G, so that's probably nothing at all. Um, but yeah, I think you could just play Knight back to H two, and uh, um, yeah, just sort of a question: What is? Uh, I suppose this is. Uh, I mean, G three. I suppose G three. Yeah. That can take on F three. No, you, you can take on. Can they take on F three like that? But you've. Yeah, I was. I thought. I thought you might have a bishop e4 or something and trap the queen, but it's not. Uh, 
It's surprisingly close, but it's not. Uh, it's not there. But I'm not sure whether you've really. Yeah, uh, maybe we should try. Oh, Bishop G5 now is. Uh, Bishop G5 looks yeah. good, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, I mean, it's, it's not so. Yeah. Oh, that's a bit dodgy. We go knight e5 now. That's a, that's 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 definitely an advantage. Knight e5 is decent now. That's looking uh, good. Oh, actually, uh... oh, he's going knight b4. Yes, actually, knight. B... This is even stronger. Knight b4 takes d3, and then bishop h2. Rousey's well done. Checkmate lots. Super mm -hmm. sharp. Whack. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, well, checkmate. Well, we didn't jinx you. <laughs> checkmate lots getting close to 2400 here, so uh, looking cool. very good. Okay, 16 uh, just behind our good Marshall's team. Come on, come on, English. <laughs> but it's well, let's see. Oh, no, Wilson is not playing right now. Um, I'm gonna join again. I'm gonna play a quick one. Just yeah, play Drunk Knight. The drunk knight is black here. Um, and X. Oh, am I playing? Yes. Are oh, you playing? Yeah. All right. We're going to switch. Um, Good luck, yes. drunk knight. Oh, good lord. And G M M D S. Is playing here and has taken on G7. Mm. So, this is not a gambit. You are actually a pawn. Uh, well, it's a yeah. gambit. Yeah. Take that one, I think. Oops. Go after the F5 pawn. Um, giving up a knight. Yeah, was that a good idea? Not completely convinced. Um, no, I don't think yeah. No, I'm not very happy with the way I'm playing this, actually. Oh, my goodness. It should have just been, it should have been absolutely trivial. Uh, you get that rook on h8, don't you? So that's... Yeah, no, I know, but it's it's all a little bit, I don't know, it should, it should just have been a, an absolutely clear win. But, uh, but okay, it doesn't matter. Oh, we'll sort of pin that knight a little bit. Knight there. Going to castle queen side. Go here. Uh -huh. Picking up another exchange. Oh, an exchange. Yeah, yeah, I'll go queen a3, but I go king b1, and then uh, that should be very, very strong. He can't move his rook away. So. Uh, Oh, okay. Nice oh, bishop's a little bit trapped now. Pretty convincing. So you're going to put your rook on h1 and bring it in, bring in the rook. And should be good enough. I should, yeah. We're going to see whether I can be going to be quick enough. I would hope so. Yeah, I would have thought you can. Threatening ninety six. Oh, 
Boom, boom, boom. Let's see what I can get. Taking it the nice slow way. I think that is a fairly good pre-move. That one also, I think. There we are. Ah. Uh, try one more. Is that helping? Are we... Uh... Let's see. We are now in... 16th. Are we going to... 16th no, place. Another one. Berserk. And a berserk. I heard the noise, the telltale noise of a berserk in the background there. And there's also the corn being given away. Okay. And so you're playing your gambit. Yeah, playing my old, uh, my good old gambit there. All right. We are. So, so that knight is going to be pinned along the default. Yeah, that's. You would have thought somewhere that that would uh, um, uh, mean something nice happens to me. Um, golly, this is there's just too many too many tempting stuff. Okay, I'll just I'll just play it simply. Not going to bother. So we just have 15 minutes left in the 8th Lee Chess Mega A team battle. We're following the English chess players um, and we're coming in about 16th place at the moment out of 180 teams. Not bad, is it? I think we've done very, very well, to be honest, because it's been, you know, it is a very strong tournament, this one. So uh, It really uh, is. Yeah. And there were over, I've forgotten now how many players. It was like, well, lots anyway. Um, and at the moment, this we're following Grandmaster Matthew Sadler's game, uh, Bang which a is like a berserk and a gambit. Yeah, I've got my pawn back, but <laughs> not my time, of course. Uh, there we are. Bit of a tricky one, this too. Uh, hasn't worked out well in terms of uh, berserking. You'd want uh, a little bit more... Uh, I'm going to go G4, if he goes B3 or something. Surely a nice positional end game was was what you wanted there. Exactly, yeah. I know it's uh, a little bit unfortunate, really, when you get stuff like this. It's, it's very, yeah, just very easy to make mistakes in, uh, in, in this sort of thing. And uh, you need to be, yeah, being precise Quick. in, uh, in, in, in ending. Yeah. It's quite, it's quite tough. At speed. Yeah, I find it, or I find it uh, very difficult anyway. I mean, uh, uh, could be that some players can uh, can do it very, very well, but uh, uh, and of course, I'm I'm also not the not the fastest in terms of. Uh, uh, okay, well, start to get some weaknesses there. So, uh, all right, just bring the king out of the way. I mean, at some stage, I want to go. I'm not sure. Do I want to go h4 and g4 and just sack, sack like that? Maybe I do. I'm a bit worried if mm. g4 will go knight h4. I mean, the knights, on the other hand, are... ah, let's do it. I've got c3. So, uh... Yeah. Queen takes c3, hits the rook, and that would be check as well. So, Indeed. so that's all pretty good. That's all hunky dory. Oop. Knight d4. I guess he might go queen e7, but I might just go knight c6 again. Why not? Here we are. Ha ha. Whilst I'm thinking of something to do, I'm now a bit ahead on time actually, so that's quite nice. Yeah. Uh, queen 5 that's what I'm going to do. Centralizing is always a good uh, yeah. is always a good thing to do. Now, I really want to go rook d2 now, I think, next. Just uh, ask some questions about the f2 pawn. Um, that's an annoying move, but I'll go queen e4. Oh, 
rook b2, ooh, rook b1. Yeah. Um, queen e5, I think. Queen e7. Does he notice you're attacking the rook? Yes. Yeah. Rook d2, there we are. Rook f2. No. B5. 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 B4. B5. B5. B6. 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 So you're still ahead on time, but the opponent gets an increment. So yeah, that's a you're bit... just going to queen. It's irrelevant because you're going to queen. Technique holds up, but I think I'm going to make it. I've got a bit yeah. quicker, I think, uh, in my old age. Yeah. Be careful, I don't stalemate him, by the way. That's also. Uh... Oh. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I'm not quite sure how I'd stalemate him, but uh, I'm sure it's possible. Right tonight. There we are. To promote the knight. <laughs> that would have been, or bishop even. Still yeah, right. that would have been uh, amazing, wouldn't it? Yeah. Uh, let me forward to myself there and uh, we will see. Has that helped at all? Okay. No, not really. Well, let's see uh, how they're all doing. Actually, I was going to just check on Lance, who was just showing up as top of the um, oh, King's Precious team. Look at um, that. 66 points. Wow. Let's have a quick look at Lance's game. Ooh, ooh. No, oh, oh, oh. golly. Um, oh, G6. Ooh. Um, let's have a look. Both strong players here. Rookie one. Both oh, strong players, back. both berserked. Yeah, I would have said F7 check would have been a, a good one to throw in there because uh, King F7 is a, a, a hell of a resource. Um, whoa, Knight D4 oh. now. Uh, Da, 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 da. Yeah, it's, it's hard to resist it, but there's big mate on C2 here. So uh, it looks like Dr. Martich is always, oh, he's, 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 well, so you say throw, throw, throw it all the way. But, uh, Lance, right? Yeah, yeah, it's excellent for Lance, this. So, um, uh, oh, King G8. Oh, he's going to the corner, but rookie oh, 7. Oh, oh, gosh, this looks dangerous uh, now. Oh, we can go knight F3 to G5, check. Queen that's, H6 that's, as well. That, that's, 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 okay. very, that's very important. Knight Queen h6 or knight g5 would have been even better to be honest, but uh, well, this is also good. King g8. I think Lance is, is a bit of a he's a bit of a speed monster, so uh, yeah. yeah, look at that. Look, oh, yeah, brilliant, easy, easy. Ah, excellent, great technique. Well played, Lance. What a great score on board, uh, on board one for King Crash, who's staying in the top 10. That's uh, amazing. So, uh, English chess players were 16th. Uh, we're a bit uh, far away. Checkmate a lot at the top. Atom Rod has caught him up. Has smooth, has smooth a hedgehog. Let's see smooth as a hedgehog because I don't think we really? saw him yet. So, this is Andy Horton, um, a young international master from England. And uh, yeah, nice, made a nice smooth opening in line with his name. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, I just want to gain a little bit more space, I suppose. I, I mean, a move like queen, playing the queen to e3 is always tempting, you know, with uh, um, or maybe bishop a7 first, followed by queen e3 would be quite nice. Threatening bishop b6, and also bishop takes b7, actually, that's maybe quite a nice idea. Just uh, bishop a7 and then queen e3, that could be quite nice. With bishop a7 here, do you know that yeah. wouldn't even occur to me? Well, I mean, it chases the rook away from, it's, it's quite a common idea, chases yeah. the rook away from defence of b7, then queen e3 just to have bishop b6 afterwards. I think it's quite nasty. Because yeah. Yeah. Um, bishop, ah, there we are. <laughs> done it. Well played. So, so rook, a, rook a, you go queen e3, and after bishop c6, you'll probably go bishop b6. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's possible. 
We can repeat it again now. I'm sure Queen E3 would be a good idea. Pretty, pretty convinced. Yeah. Pretty what if you do Queen E3 first? Does possible. It make it possible. I, was, I mean, you, you, I was thinking that you might sacrifice the exchange and, uh, yeah. He's done uh, it now. He's done so it. Bishop E6. I mean, we go Bishop B6 and then um, uh, maybe Knight D5 afterwards. I think that's probably, or even G5 first, Knight D5. Ooh. Okay, very nice. I think we'll go Bishop. Oh, well, we could have gone G5 maybe even and, uh, and, knight, and then we'd have a Knight D5. Fork of the, uh, I think that would have worked. I think that was working. Yeah. Not hundred percent sure, but I think that was working. But this is also. Might still right. be good. It's still very. Uh, I mean, you're really. Uh, yeah, you're really. Uh, it was nice. Uh, black here, yeah. Yeah, you're really putting the squeeze on uh, on black here. Whew. All right. Um, I mean, knight d five is possible. C five uh, is also a, a good possibility. Um, yeah. I mean, I think bishop d5, you're just going to take with a pawn and everything's, yeah, so oh, this is also quite good. I mean, h4 to h5 to h6 is, uh, or just h4 to h5, uh, mm. is, uh, looking very tempting now. This is really awful for black, uh, really being horribly squeezed here. So h5 would, uh, h4 would be probably my uh, my choice here. Now I think we go back to d5. I think that's uh, okay. the way we want that. Just uh, yeah, that like that like that. Yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, very nice. And we can decide whether we want to put the pawn in h6, alpha zero style, mm. or uh, whether we just want to keep the tension. I mean, I might just play gh here as black, actually, and then... No, nah, nah, is that Stop true? Well. Yeah. yeah, and just try and, um, you know... But I think if we go something like... Um, f4 now and then bishop e4 you know i think you can just start exchanging off pieces and uh mm -hmm. i think f4 here would be a good move yeah this is also awesome. bishop e4. This, yeah. is, this is also very good uh, i think i mean bishop g6 and then we go f4 and why that can't just take on e4 and g5 because e7 would be on exactly yeah so f4 now i think is uh, is the move that we want yeah this is a very nice game this is you know mm -hmm. Uh, very very nice Smooth game. Queen H7 oh. now against a good player, you know, uh, twenty two fifty seven. Yeah, but actually, Smooth's Hedgehog is twenty six ninety two. That's a good blitz rating. Yeah, yeah, good blitz rating. So yeah, I mean, there are many ways now for White to uh, to finish this off. Um, um, yeah, uh, to, 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 to. I'd be tempted to try and just try and uh, stick something on the. Uh, on the G file, but this is this is going to be very strong. I think we go. Uh, um, uh, I think Black was once looking to play just F five to F six. I think that's the uh, the idea. And I think you, it's the sort of thing where you say, "Why not?" Yeah. Queen C eight. Um, okay. Um, if I go F five, knight somewhere F six. That's looking. Kind of decisive. This is this is uh, quite decent. F five now. It's going to be very difficult here for Black mm. to find anything. Okay, F six is winning here because we got F G and Rook F seven. So uh, that's just completely uh, completely gone. Very nice game. Nice very, game. Very nice right. game. Uh, Showed a good uh, good awareness of uh, of lots of uh, yeah lots of uh, themes here. So FG, our oh, king e7. Well, <laughs> I don't know. Queen f7 and g8 is winning. Queen f queen e8 and rook f8 check is very oh, instant instant queen e8. Even there, rook f7. <coughs> he's won. Yeah, uh, he's black won. has run very nice game there. Smooth as a hedgehog, well played. Um, okay. Okay, who else do we have? English players, come on! Uh, Drifty Pencil we haven't seen today. Oh, yeah. Smooth the Hedgehog has made a lot of points in a very Yeah, yeah, way. yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, Drifty Pencil, I like, I like that one. So, <laughs> unfortunately, Drifty Pencil is a piece down. Oh. Ah, but I've got a queen! Not anymore, Look at that. Drifty Pencil. I mean, Queen B5 Okay. Right. Let's let's stop watching there. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, 
Okay, let's see. All right. We have. Look at Schadenfreude. Good. Schadenfreude. Right up there. Up well, and one thing. Richie's yeah. kept on going. Atom Rod's uh, good as well. Checkmate a lot of the Green top. Becker. Well. Let's just see. Ah, Green, Green Becker. Becker. Because we only saw we only saw a bad game from him, didn't we? So. Uh, Did we? <laughs> Yeah, we, we saw, uh, unfortunately, he's, uh, he's. <laughs> I wish you hadn't said that. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, uh, unfortunately, yeah. he's an exchange town here with a difficult position. So, uh, yeah. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry about this. Uh, uh, we, we... We'll have to behave ourselves better, Green Becker, and not, not jinx you anymore. Oh, we've made him two now. Oh, no, no. <laughs> okay. Um, sorry about that, Green Becker. Yeah, we won't, we won't, we won't. Okay, so. How, many, uh, how much time left? Is it a few minutes now? Not much time left at all. And let me just uh, just tell you properly how much time left there is. Um, I can see actually it's one minute and fifteen seconds. Okay. It looks like. Uh, see who we we haven't seen. What about no? Here we go. The boosters um, is playing black here. Um, and what have we got? Uh, oh, it's a piece down. Piece down. Can we do anything about it? Oh, we are gonna. We're gonna get one back, I think. Yeah. Are we gonna get one back? Yeah. Six. Oh, he's probably always worried about ninety three. Okay, so so knight b six. So we take take and um, two pass pawns on the queen side, which is a little bit. Oh, good lord! Yeah. That's a move. Hmm. Yeah, no, I think uh, you had your chance to win the piece back there, so that's uh, yeah. going for the We just play. We just play. Uh, oh, that's yeah. That's not bad either. The queen oh, three. Yeah, I guess. But do we have uh, uh, queen e three? Yeah. Oh, queen f four. Oh, 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 nice trick. Nice trick. Queen seven. takes queen. Oh. oh. Okay. okay. Uh, oh, we could have picked up a queen there. We might, we might end up mating. Uh, white, might I think white mating. should probably it would, it would be sensible for white to play. Hey, oh, queen f7. Hoo -hoo. Well, uh, um, um, we're set. Oh, no, 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 not there. Queen c1, right? No. Queen c1. Queen e. Oh, no, now it's losing. It's lost again. All right. Oh, and I can tell you the um, the team battle is now over. So let's see how the English chess players did. Um, were we in uh, 16th at the end? We were yeah, in 16th. 16th place. I think we did very well. We did very Atom well. Rod, fantastic. Not at the last, just beating Checkmate a lot, who was the top scorer. Just ahead of Checkmate a lot. Richie A, Schadenfreude, Chess Tree, and Mouse Lip. Whole lot of good presses there, and a lovely game we saw there by um, Smooth as a Ever Hedgehog. Okay. Nigel Essie team at school. Excellent. Yeah. And let's see also which teams won the event. So it was won by Ali Ajabri GMH um, and then the Arab Uja. team, Sergei yeah. Jigalko. And so this team had you are a GM Harry at the top. Yeah, I think is it an Egyptian team this? Uh, certainly the top player I think yeah. is Egyptian. So yeah. Uh, um, yeah. Excellent. Okay, and let's also just one last thing see how King's Crushers team did. Um, they were in the top. They might. They were in the. They were tenth. Place they for, have. Uh, oh, they just them. dropped out. Oh, by two <laughs> points, they just dropped out at the end. Oh. Yeah, but still a very good performance by them as well. Yeah, well Lance, the, um, Lance, Future is Meow, and King's Crusher. Well done, King's um, Crusher. Well done, Lance as well. Brilliant. Okay. Uh, Thank you, everybody, very much for watching. Uh, well played, English chess players. Um, and uh, we will see you again sometime soon. Fantastic. Thanks for watching.